Hey, what's going on, Scorpio? Butch Tarot here. I'm gonna do your one week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Um, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all your cross watchers, roles can be reversed. And if you don't know what your sun or your moon rising and your Venus is, uh, I, about a week ago, I put up on my community page um, a website for a natal chart calculator. Um, it's free. It only takes a few minutes, but it will give you a more in-depth look into all your houses. So I suggest checking it out. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Always feel free to comment down below. And let's get it. That's what we have. Oops, okay. What's going on for Scorpio Universe? All right, Scorpio. So first thing I see is there's someone that's been wanting you. Someone that has already made their mind up. You're the person they want. I feel like they've been they've been kind of watching you for a while and and not in a creepy stalker way and, and I don't get the sense they've been sitting outside your window or anything like that I just feel like this person's been kind of taking their time soaking you in kind of watching you from afar and we also have them waiting here so I feel like they know what they want but they ain't going out to get it. And I feel like the reason they're not going out and get it is because I feel like they're not sure if they're enough for you. Like they see you as better than them. They see you as like you're on that next level. Almost like you're too good to be true. And it's almost like, can they, can they see themselves keeping up? Now, I don't feel like this person is a person that has, you know, low self-esteem. I feel like they're a pretty confident person, but I feel like when it comes to you, you just make them weak. Now, we have the Five of Pentacles, so I feel like there's a lot of hot and cold energy in this person. I mean, there's some there's some moments when they just want to come right, come running right towards you and just let you know, hey, I'm here, what's up? But then there's other times when it's almost like they got that internal struggle, you know, holding them back. Because the feelings they have for you are so strong, it's almost like they can't imagine if you would say no. They don't even know what they would do. But the more and more they're in this mode, we got the devil card, that Capricorn energy, I feel like it's a burden on them. And that's why they got that, that, that internal struggle. They wanna make that move. They see you as the person they wanna be with. They're physically, mentally, and emotionally attracted to you. They like the cut of your ship. 
<laughs> they like what they see. But like I said, you know, when you meet that person that, that person that gives you that feeling inside, and we all been there, we all been, the, we've all met that person that was like, you know, when you have to take a step back when you meet this person because they're so perfect for you. And I feel like this is what this person, this is what, where this person's at right now. They're like, this person's so perfect that it can't, it can't be that easy. It can't be, you know, it, it can't be, they can't be true. You know, they can't be this good. So I'm gonna keep my eye on them and that's what they're doing. But as we go on here, they're liking you more and more. Like I said, this person, I feel like they got their shit together and I feel like they know what they want. And I feel like, you know, they give as good as they get. They have that confidence. But with you, they're just, they're not able to find that right yet. But I feel like things are going to change because, I, like I said, I feel like that burden's going to be too much for them. And I also see the Eight of Wands. So I do see them, them reaching out to you and letting you know how they've been feeling. Because they're craving for movement here. They can't just keep watching you like this. They're worried that eventually you're going to meet somebody else. Or eventually you're gonna get serious with somebody else and then they're gonna lose their opportunity. You make them weak. You know, you got them all kinds of twisted. But that's gonna change. They're gonna find, they're gonna find that balance. They're gonna find that point where they're like, I gotta, I gotta know. I can't just keep doing this to myself. And that's where they're at. They're in that state of mind right now where all they, all they can th seem to think about is you. But like I said, that the way you make them feel, you put them, you make them feel so good, but then you make you, you, you look so good to them that it's almost like they can't, they don't know how they can reach that level. They don't know if they're good enough for you. But like I said, that's not going to matter. You know, they're going to take a chance. Like I said, we have that eight of wands, um, that communication opening up, chariot, that cancer energy for movement here. They know it's, it, you know, it's going to get to the point where it's now or never. You know, they, they're going to realize that if they don't make a move soon, they're going to, they, they're going to lose you because the way they see you, they know that somebody else is gonna see that. And like I said, we have King of Swords. I feel like they're gonna get their, you know, they're gonna get their groove back. They're gonna get that, like that King, King of Wands, that Leo energy, um, get that fire back and realize that if they don't take a step forward, you know, they may never know. But like I said, I, I feel like they've been watching you for a while. I feel like this is nothing new. Um, long enough, anyway, that they've already made a decision. And like I said, they got that hot and cold energy. So I feel like there's moments where they just they just want to tell you everything. And then there's moments where they're like, no, nah, I'll, look, I'll look crazy. And I feel like they're, they're still in that almost like, you know, they have this huge crush. And they're just trying to figure it out for themselves as well. I mean, that's part of that internal struggle with them. They're trying to figure out wh why they feel the way they feel when they're around you. But like I said, I do see that them reaching out, communication opening up. The cherry card, I do see four movement. I do see good fortune here. I feel like a lot of good energy from this person. You know, they're very passionate. And I feel like once they come forward, um, you know, they're gonna let you know how they feel. And when they do come forward, you're gonna know exactly who I'm talking about. 
you may already get a sense of who I'm talking about because I feel like the love energy coming off this person might be hard to not, not already see. So you may already have an idea who this person is, but like I said, soon it's not gonna matter, you're gonna know exactly who this is because they're gonna reach out. They're just waiting for the right time. There, there's definitely a lot of fire here. So I mean, you could be looking at a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, there's also some water, so it could be Cancer, Pisces, another Scorpio. Um, we also have some Earth in there as well. So I mean, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Now I feel like it may be, in the earth signs, I feel like it's more of a Taurus-y feel I'm getting from this. Uh, so it could be, but like I said, I also got that devil card, the Capricorn energy. So I mean, I'm thinking a fire sign with some earth and some water or a water sign with some earth and fire. But that's what I have for you. Be good, take care, and always trust your intuition. See you soon.